In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in um, function for doing a confidence interval on the mean using the t, t distribution. So one of the things that I've already done is if I go to my stats menu, I type the data into a list. So to do that, you would just go to edit. Um, and you can see my data is typed in right here. And we're going to use that data in order to generate the confidence interval. So to do that, I'm going to go back to my stats menu. And I'm going to go over to the test option. This is where you're going to find all the inferential methods for hypothesis tests and confidence intervals. And what we're going to do is what's called a T interval on your graphing calculator. So this is a confidence interval on the mean using the T distribution. So I'll go ahead and select option eight. And it's going to say, OK, your input is it data or do you have statistical summary values? We have data that we're using, so I'm going to leave it at that and the data is stored in list one. You can see that it's set up with list three right now. So to switch this to list one, I'm going to hit the second button and then number one, you can see the little L1 above it, that brings in list one. The frequency I'm going to leave alone and then the confidence interval was a 90% confidence interval for the, the example that I did in a previous video. So I'm gonna just use 0 0.90 as my confidence level percentage, actually as expressed as a decimal. And then we simply go down and we choose calculate and then hit enter. And this will generate the confidence interval. So it gives the interval first. It gives the lower bound comma the upper bound in interval notation. And then it summarizes the sample mean, the sample standard deviation, and then the sample size. So this is just a real quick, easy way that you can use your graphing calculator in order to check your work and make sure that you did your confidence interval calculation correctly.